business. So hi, and thank you for joining us for Behavioral Health and Wellness. I am Dr. J, and I have the pleasure of being here with Ms. Donna Dugay today, someone I have known for some years now, um, how time flies. Donna, thanks for joining me. Hello, thank you for having me, Dr. J. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Donna. Okay, so my name is Donna Dugay. I, we're from New Orleans, so we always talk about our high schools too. So I went to a couple of high schools, but I actually graduated from John McDonald. Uh, I went on to, yay, I went on to LSU, where I got my degree from LSU. I came to UNO and got a master's degree in public administration. I have a background, I worked as a counselor after Hurricane Katrina, helping families to rebuild, and I kind of really fell in love with recovery and rebuilding. But I didn't find a job in that field other than being a counselor, well, not a, I can't say a counselor, but being a, um, like a, a worker, a caseworker. Right. I left and I went to City Hall, where I met you, Dr. J. <laughs> um, I left there and my heart and my passion kind of took me to another direction after I left the city. Um, the politics was a lot. So I left and I went into the medical field and then I got into insurance. So that's where this story kind of stops. I am currently into the insurance field. I'm an insurance broker. I do life insurance and health insurance for Medicare. Okay. So are you doing that privately or are you contracted with a company? Tell me about being an insurance broker. Okay. So when you're a broker, you usually work for a company and like, it's a, just like a, a basic company where you have your brokers, you have all the agencies, and then you contract with each particular agency. So I work with all of the Medicare agencies in the state. So that's like Humana, People's Health, WellCare, United Healthcare, Blue Cross, and Aetna. Right. Good. So that's the, um, I know some time ago that was considered the Bayou Health plans. Is that still Bayou Health or? Right. So when it's Bayou Health, that's more Medicaid. So right. I help right. Medicaid as well. So I do the Medicaid and the Medicare side, but those particular plans are the Medicare plans. And then when they have like the Bayou Health plans, we also have to work with them as well. Okay. That sounds great. And your, your typical clientele will be who? My typical clientele would be seniors, age is usually 65 and older, or people that are younger that have like um, ESRD or heart conditions, people that have been fully disabled for more than two years. Okay. So Donna, I know that you told me about your work with the city and you're passionate about um, being an insurance broker. Um, we cannot not speak about Urban NOLA. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about so, Urban Nola. People, wh whoever don't know, because Urban Nola has really been doing some great things. Right. So actually, that started back in 2009 or 2010 when we were still at work. <laughs> we were working together. We came so far because we both had websites. We both had organizations. And we and I, I must thank you because you kind of pushed me and you, you told me we got to do it. So we both signed up for that plan and we figured out how to do our websites and our websites have come a long way. So basically, I went to Atlanta one time for a Saints game and my cousin and I were out there. We were like, I want to go out, but we don't know where to go. So we had no clue where to go. And I was like, I wish they had a website. Now, I don't know if they had a website at the time because I didn't know it. I wasn't from Atlanta. But when I came back home from the Saints game, when I had so many, so much time to myself <laughs> in the office, I said, maybe I could create one for New Orleans. So I did it and I put everything together. I kind of reached out to different businesses. And the good thing about my about Urban Nola was that I didn't charge anybody anything. So I did all the promotion. All of whatever it was, I did it for free. Now, if it was something like some type of advertisement from like a bigger company, then of course I would take money, but I never took money from anybody who was just trying and working like myself. Right. And that's great. And you know, I think that we do have to get to a point where we understand that our business is is growing and it's in demand. So when you get to the point where you are setting up your contracts and you do have your fees, it's nothing wrong with that because you work hard. And when we look at Urban Nola, we know what we're going to see. Um, we think we know what we're going to see. Right. <laughs> you, know, you get all the shock factors, but it's, it's a great 
resource and I you you need to be able to charge for your services. Right. You and actually provide. that's that that's actually one of the things that I learned and I was going to talk about that today is that I had no clue how much money was available online by blogging and doing different things. And as time went on, had I taken advantage of this years ago, I could probably be one of those YouTube millionaires. I had a YouTube page like 10 years ago, but I was not doing what I should have. No, I can't say what I shouldn't have. I didn't know. So when you don't know, you just don't know. But now that I do know, I am finally trying to monetize. So um, I need to get, I have one page that's already monetized on YouTube. So I'm learning, how, learning the ropes and I, I'm, also trying to teach others because that was a lesson for myself that I should have been monetizing and not too much making money off people that's working like me, but making money off big companies because big companies actually have a lot of money that they're giving out right. to bloggers. Donna, I, I refuse to pretend like I knew what monetization was before I went to your page. I'll be honest. Um, so once again, that was an opportunity for you to educate us folks here in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. about something different because when I saw it I, I'm a word junkie so I, I looked at it for a minute and I said let me look this up what is monetization and once I looked it up it led to more information and more information and then I kind of really understood what you were doing and I promise if it wouldn't have came out on your page I wouldn't have ever looked it up probably or it, 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 it would have been some years um it wasn't <laughs> something that just stood out and made me say uh, yeah, I want to look this up and see what it is. So another another um, form of education from Ms. Donna Dugay, um, who congratulations on your being monetized on your page, which is a great thing. How does it feel? How's it going so far? It feels good. I mean, I'm not making a million dollars or anything, but <laughs> it's, all a, it's, it's all about just starting. You can't make a million until you make one. So. Right, right. <laughs> so I'm... I'm doing good, and um, I, I need to try to get that Urban Nola page monetized. And like I said, when I first started over Urban Nola over like about ten years, my first page, my first video was at like 2010 or something like that right. on YouTube. 2010. Back in the day, you could only make the YouTube video couldn't even be more than ten minutes. Now we got hour long videos and stuff. But I, like I said, I was not monetizing, and I forgot that password. I had to create another account and another account. So I finally have the Urban Nola YouTube where I have most of the second line videos. And actually, I think you probably was the first person to invite me to a second line. So the first second line. <laughs> yeah, so yo, and I've been hooked ever since. I don't think I've missed one yet. So yo, I think y'all video was one of my, one of my first second line videos. Right. I mean, and you know what? Living in New Orleans, we, we have, we blessed to have many passions. Mm -hmm. And that's one of mine. I love to second line. If you don't know me, <laughs> I love the second line. Now, I can't say I'm the best second line person, but I, I love it. I love the culture. I love just um, being around people and seeing the different the outfits because it's a fashion statement. It's so much that goes with that. But that's just another reason. As I say, when we first started, Donna, you know you have to come back. There's no way you're not coming back. You're doing so much and you know we have to celebrate each other especially in this time when uh, I just believe that everybody has it's just so dark it, that's the, the best word to describe it is dark and the only way we will begin to see the light is if we continue to shine even in the midst of this darkness so um I want to find out who would you consider to be your accountability partners so as of now, and I, I just actually found out what accountability partner was. Um, so I don't really have one now, but to be honest with you, and I'm not just telling you this, when we were working together, you really told me a lot of stuff about business that kind of helped, you know, that kind of really helped me. Like, I still remember some of the things we were saying. I think I remember one day you answered the phone and you was like, yes, this is Lisa. And I was like, what is going on? She was like, girl, you can't let them know, you, you know, what's going on. So I really like that. So just kind of all of that stuff that I learned from the, from the conversation and everything that we were doing that really helped to help, you know, keep me accountable because a lot of times nobody's going to run your business like you, you know, how you want everything to be done. And eventually you want people to come work with you, but you want to make sure that it's like a well-tuned machine. Um, so 
you were one of the people that inspired me to do that. And just to see how you were running everything when you had your mother's helper, you were doing your programs, you and you just kind of stayed fast. And that's that's really inspirational to you know another woman. Thank you, Dot. Look, you're not supposed to be making me cry. <laughs> um, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. But you know, as I said, great greatness, we, you attract greatness. And I, I really do believe that you're doing a great job, Donna. For Thank people you. who don't understand what I mean when I say boss up, my, um, what I envision is talking to people who are actually in the community, who are bringing about change, who are offering necessary services, um, successful, solution-driven, efficient in your craft, dedicated to a worthy cause, uplifting individuals, people, groups, um, and most important, a person of good character. And you have a great character, Donna, and we look forward to seeing what you're going to do in the future. Um, I look forward to seeing those kids. I told you you have to bring those great kids back on, on here because Donna has some great kids. And you know what? When you set the foundation, Mm -hmm. They learn from children. So we're setting foundations so our children can actually grow up and understand what business is. I don't right. know about you, but it was it, it was very difficult to navigate through the process many times because when you come from a background from business and leadership and community involvement, it's easy to just jump in. When you're navigating, trying to find your way, it's very difficult. And sometimes we fall but I'm not, I'm not good at falling, I promise. I don't want to really fall in public, which I have cried in public before. <laughs> but I am an expert at getting back up. <laughs> so that is, that's what I'll claim. Because, I mean, every, every opportunity, every experience, I, 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 I'm not perfect at. I fall, but I look for opportunities to continue to be as great as I can. And this is one of those opportunities where I can reach out to other people who I feel are aspiring to be great also. So that's why this segment actually was was established. Um, I am a doctor of behavioral health for those who don't know. And what that means is um, it, not only a doctor of behavioral health, I'm also a social worker um, and a journalist. And just my children think I love school. To be honest, I had um, with so little direction, I found education as an opportunity to make sure I was well rounded. So I didn't anticipate to continue to just get all those student loans <laughs> because that's what I have a bunch of student loans but um I feel that I accomplished my goal by educating myself and just continuing to push even being here with you today is a push because I kept saying Donna I'm gonna call you I'm gonna get with you Donna you know and, and just trying to think about oh you know ways that we can actually uplift each other and when I finally sat down and got to it I was like you know what I'm doing it today, no matter what. So for what I'm going to be doing with this behavioral health and wellness, I'll be talking about um, mental wellness. I'll be talking about um, nutrition, exercise, um, definitely how we can incorporate exercise with our children and, and eating better. Because at first, they used to get their nutrition from school. Right. And they would have those those balanced meals. And now they're at home. They feel like they can get whatever they want. It's always snack time. And we have to really let them know what's a good snack. And um, right. they still have to exercise and things of that nature. But in the meantime, I am so grateful that you took the opportunity to speak with me today. And before we wrap up, I want you to let people know how they can get in contact with you if they have any questions or concerns. Okay. Uh you can reach me on, you can go to the website and it's urbanola.com. Of course, we're in quarantine, so they don't have that many events. So you won't see a lot of events, but you can reach me at urbanola.com. I also have a personal blog. It's called urbanmommy.net. So that's why I talk about parenting and different things that's going on. That's a page. It's on YouTube as well, urbanmommy.net, urbanola. 
is also on YouTube. You can reach me, or I am Urban Mommy on Instagram, or you can email me at, um, you can just use my personal email address because it goes straight to my phone. It's my name, D-O-N-N-A, D-U-G, as in girl, U-E, at yahoo.com. Thanks again, Donna. It was great to see you. Looking forward to getting with you soon in the future. And um, for anybody who's joining in, if you know someone who's in the community, who's doing some great things, who you feel may be um, great to be featured on our segment, Boss Up, give us, drop us a line at behavioral.com. I'm sorry, behavior.healthandwellness. I got to think about my own email. That's B-E-H-A-V-I-O-R dot healthandwellness at gmail.com. I am Dr. J, and I look forward to seeing you in the future to bring on more people who we feel here at Behavior Health and Wellness are bust up. Thanks, Don, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Y'all have a great day.